it's kind of disingenuous to have him state those facts. You know. Yep. Let's right, continue. Buddy. Here we go. He's just there, and he's like, "All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this." And that's the dude who's yelling like fifteen different. Um, that's the dude who's yelling fifteen different instructions during, yes. like, "All right, flip around. Now look at me. Now jump up and down." And like, that's yeah. why is because he's recreating these porn scenarios that he, his brain. No, he, he misunderstands the escalation ladder and what that's all about. It actually creates intimacy. Meat hammer. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. He's programmed his brain to get off to. He has built a fetish around using the female body and different body parts. So he's just masturbating with your body at that point. And it, even if you're married, even if you're married, he can still be just masturbating with your body because sex to him is a way of masturbating because he's used to masturbating to women on the Internet. Hey, you know what I was going to say is, you know, I think it sounds like um, when he keeps repeating that masturbatory thing, you know, it, even if you're married, you know, so maybe it's more about what he's trying to fucking what he's trying to convey is it's a connection thing, you know, that intimate, you know, love connection, right? It's instead of it being the objectification of a woman, it's more of the connection of, you know, the two hearts or whatever like that, you know, because that's what he does, right? He's a relationships counselor. He helps people get their relationships put back together again, you know, uh, depending on what they've been going through nine times out of 10, it's, we all know why relationships fail is because the man has failed in some aspect or another in her presence. He has figured out a appropriate way to, as Phil talks about, transfer those energies. And there's only one way. And it's the way that he teaches that's what he's trying to get across to people. Good point. Okay. So if you do it in any other way, if you're a dom and submissive and, you know, that's not, that's not the way you do it because the energy isn't being transferred in a way that's respectful to women. It okay. To in, in his mind. All right. That's what he's telling you. If you want a good relationship and you want a healthy sexual relationship, then you need to come and see me and I'm going to tell you how to get there. I'm going to tell you how to change that and exchange that energy. So that's appropriate for both of you. OK, people and he, he talks about fetishes. People develop fetishes based on a lot of different reasons. Some of it is because you're successful. Some of it is because you're ha you you have some PTSD or some something that causes you to want to, to be humiliated and those kind of things. Those are all different. All right. If you have someone that has a mental illness and they're trying to sort through their fetishes and stuff, there are some fetishes that are healthy. There's some that aren't. OK. <clears throat> But what he's telling you is if you just want a normal, healthy, happy, happy sexual life, sexual life, you need to come and see me because I'm going to tell you how to do that so that it's respectful to the woman. Ah, race. Sage wisdom once again. Very so good. So basically, don't ask for a sandwich after sex. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got don't it get already. Join Thor's The Dragons membership. It's a men's monthly interactive video meeting in cyberspace. This is a masculine place for men that is censorship free to increase your performance as well as converse and leverage ideas and get coaching consultations on how to handle life's issues in a modern world. This is a unique place. This is a discreet place and it's a place for men. So what are you waiting for? Join the Dragons membership. Link below. <laughs>